right, so we have a minor construction update today. Um, I decided to just do a construction update because I was filming for something else today, um, which should be out actually a little later today. Um, if not, maybe tomorrow. I haven't decided when I'm going to release the video. I'll probably release it today, though. Um, regardless, um, there are 54 track pieces in the storage lot, and it seems like support beams are coming in left, right, and center. And as soon as we go over to the construction site, I'll explain what I'm seeing and what I think is going on in terms of construction. But yes, the Canadian construction workers were still going full force installing Yukon Striker, despite the snowstorm and large amounts of snow that Canada or Ontario got yesterday. So um, if you look closely, I'm zoomed in, um, but you'll see over near Timberwolf Falls, um, I'll point it out for you guys, they're installing support beams. It's not just one, it's two. So if I'm correct, and again, uh, I will place up on the screen um, evidence to either counteract what I'm saying or uh, prove what I'm saying. So I'm always going to try and make sure that even if I say something in this video, I'll put something out on the screen for you guys to make sure that what I'm telling you is true. It looks like they're going to install the mid course break run because it dives underneath the zero G roll and they would probably need to do the drop and mid course break run before the zero G roll. That is just a prediction. I'm going to go match up the support beams that I see there with the um, blueprints and the POV and all that. And I'll show you guys if it's true or not. But I definitely see that try support. That is definitely for the zero G roll. But right back there in Timberwolf Falls, you'll see that other single standing support beam. That is definitely, I think, um, for the mid course break run. And it would make sense that they would have to get the mid course break run and drop in um, underneath the zero G roll because lifting track piece in place underneath already laid track could be difficult. So that's what I'm assuming is going on. So, um, no track pieces were put in today. This was filmed at around 4.30 p.m. Um, you can tell it's actually getting dark. So um, they were packing up for the day. You can actually see this little tiny cherry picker underneath the drop and lift of Yukon Striker, kind of like going into like park position. Not much going on. There's definitely some uh, cool activity going on in the little ditch or trench for the vertical loop. Um, Lots of support beams again coming in place. There's lots of digging for the queue line going underneath the pull out of the station. Again, yesterday I got super excited and thought it was the station building, but it's a queue line. Um, I'm going to be making my construction updates a little shorter now. So you guys get a lot of information in a shorter video. So um, you're not there staring at the screen at um, just video. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. And as always, thanks so much for watching, guys, and have an amazing weekend. Bye.